I'm on a journey right across the world in search of the business and technological solutions to many of the challenges we're all going to face over the next decade. Welcome to Horizons. There are over 7 billion people in the world and that number is growing. To house them all, we're having to build vast cities and transport food over huge distances. I'm in New York, a city with a fairly sophisticated ethical agenda. People here increasingly care about the provenance of their food, where it comes from and how far it's travelled. Later, I'm going to be talking to Dr. Dixon Despomier, a radical pioneer of a new type of vertical urban farming. You have a vision of a future city in which there are tall skyscrapers built entirely of floors made of farms. I do. It's nutrition wherever you need it. There's no soil. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as the conditions inside are controlled. But first, I went to see how progressive urban New Yorkers are already tackling the growing demand for food and finding new ways to feed themselves from within their own city. And this is the sort of thing one might see on city landscapes in the future. It's Brooklyn Grange Farm. It is in the shadow of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building behind there. And it is growing vegetables right in the heart of New York. It is something they hope that in the future will be profitable more importantly, scalable. We actually built this farm in spring of 2010. We brought up 1.2 million pounds of soil uh, by crane right here at the west edge of the roof. And a normal roof can just take that? This is a really well-suited building for a rooftop farm. And we're actually, our load rating up here is uh, up to 140 pounds per square foot. Right. So this is a really strong building. At, at the moment, looking around, it looks a bit scrubby. Tell me what you do grow when the weather is right. Ah, uh, we grow a tremendous number of greens up here. We try to keep them interesting and a bit different depending on the season. Root vegetables grow really well in this soil. Well, what sort of customers are you getting at the moment? Are they tend to be people who sort of ethically just want to be part of this journey you're on, or are they just people, hey, you know, this is good value vegetables I'm buying? Yeah, it's a bit of both. Uh, we supply about a dozen local restaurants as well as two dozen folks who pay at the beginning of the season and then pick up a share each week uh, as we grow. But we also have a lot of shoppers who shop with us because we do offer a really good value and a lot of really delicious really? vegetables. Really? Why? Are you cheaper than the supermarket? Yeah, I mean, that just can't be true. You cannot be cheaper than the supermarket. We will not cost less than right. tomatoes that are shipped in from, you know, mm -hmm. lands far away. But the value to the customer is greater because you're getting greater nutrient levels in your food and you're getting food that's going to stay longer because it's been out of the ground for a uh, mere couple of hours, maybe a day, as opposed to three weeks in transit. 